In this Grasshopper tutorial, I will be demonstrating another method that can be used to create animations in Grasshopper, and it will be using a number slider. So let me just drop a number slider between 0 and 20 with two decimal places of precision. And as you can see, if I right click on this number slider, there's an option to animate. Before I animate though, I have to set up the algorithm that I want to animate. So quickly, I will just take the sign of this value. I will take the absolute value of that sign and I will change this into a Z vector. If you have not watched the previous animation tutorial, um, watch that and you will understand what all of this is doing, but ultimately we are just going to be making a sphere bounce. So if I plug in this sphere and this motion, as you can see, it will oscillate up and down with time, bouncing off of the origin. Um, so to, to create this animation, I'm gonna right click on my number slider, select animate, and make sure the right file path is chosen, this is the name for each frame. I'm not actually exporting a video into the file. I'm exporting a bunch of pictures as frames, which then can be stitched together into a video using alternative software. This is just for making a bunch of frames of a video. So maybe I want 200 frames, and this resolution sounds about right, and make sure that the correct viewport is selected. And if you include the tag, then you will get this little tag at the bottom that says the frame number and the value that is being input into the algorithm. Um, so if I press OK here, you can see that now I'm generating frames, estimated 15 seconds left. And essentially all that's happening is that it's uh, computing a new result of this algorithm based on a new number here and then taking a screenshot and uh, outputting that to a folder where you can then compile a video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.